Hmm. Matindi to. Matinding usapan to. So yung mga mabibiso dyan, ito na, isa sa mga bisyo nyo. We talk about shoes, we talk about sneakers. It's my first video about this sneaker, which is happening right here, right now at AGM. Let's get it on. It's a 350. So, usapang 350. I'm sure you guys are very, very familiar when we talk about 350. But what's extremely exciting about this Yeezy is, you know, a whole story to tell. Get to know this Yeezy. And guys, take note, I'm not a huge collector. Again, that, that's a disclaimer. This is not sponsored by Adidas. But I'm telling you, this is one Yeezy. That is for most of the bloggers, sneaker community has been raving for quite some time now. But not only that, this is also the most controversial. A little history on this one. This model is supposed to be released in September 2020. Problem was, the launch was moved in October. The name itself is Azriel, okay? So there has been sort of clamor and chaos in the religious community when they say Azrael kasi may iba siyang meaning sa isang religion. And yun nga lang, nagkaroon ng malaking-malaking sabihin natin questions ang social media, folks from the internet world, and the huge question about the brand because of the name. Bakit mo nga naman papangalan ng Azrael? And they say it was against a, a character, a name that compels a not so good reputation based on that specific religion. Okay? So research kayo, I'm sure mababasa niya yan. From, from Azriel, what's the name of this one when it was pushed back in October? Binago na siya. And now they call it Yeezy. That's right, folks, this is Yeezy Carbon 350 V2s. So notice first, you know, we talk about the box, but I always the box. Kind of different, you know, 10 dash, which means 10.5 or 10 and a half. By the way, nakasulat, yeah, this is made in Vietnam. Now, this Yeezy Carbon, I got this one in the Middle East. Yes, Middle East, Qatar. This was from, from a good friend, got it from Qatar. Those who are collecting Yeezys, we all know that you have versions 1 and 350s. There's a lot of... I would say iterations of Yeezys and 350s as much as the colorways. Pero bakit nga ba ito yung inacquire kong Yeezy? And why I think this might be more than interesting for you if you're copying one, if it's your first Yeezy, or maybe you're a long-time collector. Pero kung long-time collector ka na, malamang meron ka na nito. There are certain releases unique per country or per region. Per region is unique and depending on the regional release, okay? So, kaya nung nakuha ko to, syempre, sa Qatar pa. So, that's the box. Obviously, that's the Boost logo right there. Definitely, it should be legit, okay? Maybe you'll notice something different, right? So, Alright, what's in the box? Obviously, you got the shoes. It is unused. May reason kung bakit hindi ko pa siya ginagamit. Pero sa kakapanghinayang siyang gamitin, <laughs> I know, I'm not so sure kung nakaka-relate ka, but definitely nakakapanghinaya. Uh, retail would be around, I think, 12 or between 12 or 13,000. So pareho lang sa Pinas. Pinas yata ang release is 12,000. Normally, that's the easy uh, pricing. Cop this one at 12,000. Sabihin natin 13,000. Kung may kasama ka pang conversion. Something different about the box. Kasi a box in a box. This is another 350. Alright? It's a, a box, in a box, but the box is open. But senor, the box is already open. Unlike this one, you gotta flip it because there's a cover in the box. So I, I, I'm not so sure if it's something regional again, depending on the release. So if you have tips or inputs, write down there in the comment section. Let us know, share whatever, whatever you think. Or, you know, if you have inputs or from a reliable source, para malaman natin, but ito may cover. Ito naman, wala talaga ng cover. Box in a box, but an open box, open top. Another set of shoelace. And you guys are thinking, if it's the same color and another set of shoelace, 
why do I even need that? Folks, this is your traditional shoelace. You insert, you, you know, lace it up and all. Why? Kasi yung nakakabit dito. Which for me, again, another good reason why you should pop this one. Because the shoelace for the Yeezy 350 V2's carbon, it's a continuous shoelace. Which means you just need to loosen it up a bit. Hindi na kailangan may maglalaso-laso ka ba dyan, magsisintas-sintas ka, hindi mo na siya tatanggalin. So this one is for life unless you wanted to remove this para lang magamit yung shoelace traditionally. The other pair of shoelace. But for me, no intention of using this one because this is more than enough for the reason that I don't need to trouble myself. Magsisintas ka pa, eh di huwag na lang, di ba? At least ito, automatic, di na matatanggal. Makes sense. If all shoes are like this, this would be a lot, lot better. Kasi ang hirap nga maghanap sa Pilipinas. That, that was, if it's released in October, ang tataas ng bigayan, lalong-lalo na kung sa reseller. Cop the right one based on the color that you like. So this one is more of a universal color. Not the usual ones na nakikita mong madalas earth color or sobrang hype, sobrang loud ng kulay. Mahihain yung paamo sa mga ganong kulay. And this one, with a touch of black, gray a and, and the other one was called metal blue it's bluish but it goes like a metal color metal blue yeah parang ganun yung kulay niya or steel blue so the combination of the black the gray near the heel toe and notice there was there is no pull tab ito na kagad yung hahawakan mo but for some hinahanap nila yung pull tab sa likod because it's easier to wear especially if you're what magbamadali or Yung iba naman, sang suot lang, simply slip it on and you're good to go. Now, what about the boost? Yes, it is your normal Yeezy boost out of the 350 V2 or the version 2. Alright? So, comfort, no question. Okay? The look, no question. So, we're not saying this is the best, but this will blend more on the things that you plan to wear based on the color that you have it here will blend well. Yeezys, they're made of prime knit. So it's not only the comfort coming from the boost, but the breathability. Prime knit, we all know that Adidas prime knit is a prime in its class. Coupled by the boost, that combination is just simply heaven on your feet. Okay, sarap nun. When you're buying this, this, this kind of pair of Yeezys, mahal na nga siya. You need to find the color that you really, really like. Hindi dahil magka-Yeezy lang. Because eventually, Magsisisi ka. Magsisisi ka sa binayad mo. And for that reason alone, sayang lang ang pera mo. Hindi ito usapang 5,000. Alright? 5,000, medyo mabigat yun pag nakakuha ka ng easy 5,000. Medyo lokohan na yun. Ang masama nun, kung alam mong fake, binili mo pa rin. It's your choice. It's your opinion. It's your decision. It's your money. But I'm telling you, pretending to get a Yeezy just because you wanted one and you wanted to look authentic, that is a low blow. Not to the shoe itself, but to you. Choose the right one based on what you like, based on your budget. The value of what you're getting is depending on how you draw money or how you invest money on something para mabili mo yun. You need to assert your priorities. Yeah, you may not have the spare money, and that's the reason why you needed to grind, bump, invest, proceed investing more in hard work, persevering that the next time you see this vlog or many other vlogs and you see your, your friend, your neighbor copying this one, you know na, hindi ka lang magsasour grape because you can finally purchase one out of your hard-earned money. Yun ang masarap and that's the sweetest. All of them have a spirit. They're all of the family. There's not one bad shoe. Any of these shoes that even didn't make it 20 years from now, you'll look up and that shoe would be, you know, worth to the numbers, guys.